You know what else I got to think about? I got while I'm driving on this back road looking to see what I can see going down here. You know, people look down on people that poor, right? Poor folk. People look down on people that's poor folk. You know, somebody says, man, do you wish you'd have grown up rich? Well, this is the way I look at it. I'm glad that I grew up the way I grew up. I'm glad that I grew up on eating SOS, uh, chip beef gravy and loaf bread, uh, 88 cent or 59 cent old stale loaf bread. I'm glad that I grew up on potatoes cooked every, every way, shape, form under the sun. If, 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 a, if a potato can be cooked a certain way, I promise you, Jay Green has eaten it that way. I probably eat potatoes in ways that you didn't even know potatoes could be eat. Um, I am I am blessed and and thankful to gr to grow up the way I grew up. The reason why is because it makes me appreciate the finer things in life. Now I've been fortunate and been blessed to been exposed to nicer things in life. I have put myself in the situation and the good Lord has put me in situations where I have been able to meet folks that have been well, that have been better off than me uh, and more more money than you can shake a stick at and, and the finer things of life. I have wined and dined with the fine ones. Uh, I mean, I know how to set a dinner plate. Uh, I know how to set uh, tables. Uh, I know how to do all that stuff. Um, set the silverware. I know how to set all the silverware right. I know what fork does this. I know what spoon does that. I know how you're supposed to reach. I know how you do it. I know all this stuff because I was exposed to this because I put myself in certain situations where I had to learn that and align myself with people that are more successful than me, smarter than me, and have a better vision and, and, and goal than I have. And I also appreciate cooking out grilling, pitching horseshoes, hanging with folks, you know, that um, come from hard knock lives. Uh, I appreciate that because that's how I grew up that too. And people say, well, it must be nice you got all that stuff. Well, you know what, man? I busted my ass to get where I'm at. I sure did. I busted my ass to get where I was at. And folks say, well, you know, you had it easier than we had it. No, man. No, I, I don't know your story. But you don't know my story, and I don't know the man's story up the road, and I don't know the man's story down the road. So you might see an old man in town. He's got some bib overalls and stuff like that. Boy, them some sure pretty trees. Some bib overalls and stuff. You like? He ain't got a pot to piss in. He ain't got two. He ain't got two nickels to rub together. But you know what? That man was. That man was a self-made millionaire 35 years ago. He was actually the first millionaire in North Carolina. Now he's a multi-millionaire, but you look at him, he's driving around an old beat-up pickup truck and stuff like that, and he would do anything for you. See, he knows where he came from. Hard knocks. So I'm just riding around, checking out some stuff, seeing what's going on, seeing all this timber getting cut down. So I appreciate growing up poor because I know how hard it is to get to where you want to be and successful in life. And here's something else you need to think about. We don't own nothing. Nothing. The piece of property that you have right now that you're taking care of and mowing and keeping the grass clean and, and doing this and building your empire or building your homestead or doing all that, just stop and think. A hundred years ago, hell, 50 years ago, there was somebody sitting there in the exact same spot that you are that was saying the exact same thing that you're saying right now. And 50 years from now, there's gonna be somebody else in that spot unless you have it set up where it stays in your family and it can't never leave. And then guess what? 50 years from now, somebody else is gonna be doing the exact same thing. 100 years from now, if the, if the world is still standing and we're still here, there's somebody else gonna be doing the exact same thing you're doing or they're gonna tear down everything that you built and start all over from scratch. It's like a big Lego system, boys and girls. It's like big, real-life Legos. So, 
be thankful for what you got and be thankful for what you don't have because right now you're complaining you know, man, gas is high, this is high, man, bread's high, this is high, this is high, this is high. Yep, you're right. It's life. But you can look at the pros and the cons. You can look at it, the good side of it or the bad side of it. You can look at it and say, my glass is half empty. Oh, my God, I'm about to run out. Or look, my glass is almost full. I got to keep grinding and get where I'm at because I promise you, there's somewhere, somebody somewhere right now that's laying on their deathbed begging and pleading for one more day and one more time, one more thing, and you're sitting there, and I'm guilty of it too, and I'm trying to do better. Man, I wish it'd stop raining, man. I got a lot of stuff to do. And there's somebody somewhere going, man, I wish I could just feel the rain on my face. I wish I could feel the rain on my face. So, don't look down on people that's poor or less fortunate than you. And don't look up to people that's more fortunate than you. Because I would rather come from where I came from. And I appreciate the smaller things. Than come from somewhere where everything was handed to me. Or I was more access to monies and stuff like that. And then I wouldn't know. Now, I'm not saying everybody's like that. I'm just saying that I would much rather have the life that I have growing up. That So I appreciate everything I have because I busted my ass for everything that you see. Every single thing. Went to the military. Busted my ass. Got out of the military. Went to college. Busted my ass. Everything that I have is because the good grace of God let me have it. And everything that I've lost is because the good grace of God let me lose it. I mean, he let me lose my son, and I still struggle with that every single day. So, And I'll struggle with that until the last day I breathe because I want all my sons with me. I want him right here riding with me in the passenger seat. I got him right here on my arm. I got my other two boys on my chest. So be thankful for what you got and stop damn complaining. Stop complaining and help somebody out. You know somebody's in bad shape? Don't go around telling everybody their business in town. Walk over there and mow their grass. Go over there and help them. Pay their power bill. Go buy them groceries. Go fill the car up with gas. Because I'm telling you, when you're down on your luck, when you're down on your hard times, that stress pushing on your head like that, like somebody stepping on your throat, that shit ain't fun, man. So I appreciate everybody that's helped me that I know about. I appreciate everybody that's helped me that I don't know about. And I appreciate everybody that's going to help me tomorrow that they don't even know they're going to help me. I appreciate you. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm just a good old country, crazy country boy from up here in the sticks trying to make it in this hard world we call life. And I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, if I can help you out, God knows I'll try my best. Remember what I said, boys and girls. Don't worry about the man up the road or the man down the road. Sweep off your own front porch. Worry about sweeping off anybody else. Put God first. Let loose and drive. Peace up and chicken. Grace. I'm out.